So you're trying to do live streaming or video creating or something like that and you want a green screen. But you do not have a lot of money. Let's say that's your situation, which is similar to my situation. And then you want to make a green screen for very inexpensive. Well, in this video, we are going to be talking about how to make a green screen. You don't necessarily need a whole big stand for it for around a dollar. One dollar, two dollars, something like that. Let's get to it. Now, one thing to note straight off the bat is that I don't have a good lighting setup, so I don't know how good this green screen would actually do at do doing the chroma key green thing where you cut out the background because the lighting is not strong enough to be able to get a clean image. But let's take a look at what the actual green screen, how it is made. So it's actually very, very simple. All this is, is a bright green tablecloth. That's actually all it is. We just went, I went to the dollar store and bought a tablecloth and that's all there is to it. And depending on what kind of lighting you get on the thing, that's the best lighting that I can get with what I have here. But depending on the kind of lighting you can get, you can get it to look really solid green. It actually looks a lot better in the, uh, at the sunlight, if I remember right, than it does here. But that's besides the point. The point is how to actually make the, uh, the green screen. So really all there is to it is you start with the green tablecloth and then you take that and you need to mount it up somehow. So depending on your setup, if you happen to have a wall that's big enough, it probably won't tape to the wall very well. Um, this thing over here is a plastic tablecloth. So it may, I don't know, depending on how the tape works, it may or may not stick to the wall well. But as you can see, my wall is too skinny to, uh, to do any of that. So that is where this comes in. This is a painting pole, and it is very useful because it's just basically you stick it over on top of the shelf unit over there. And over here, you string it up to nails and stuff. Um, just a couple ideas. This is, obviously your setup probably won't be the same as the setup here, but it hopefully will give you some ideas for how you can do your green screen. You don't necessarily need a whole big stand for it, something that stands on the ground and stuff, and then you go and uh, stuff like that. That can be, if you're trying to make it yourself, that can be a lot more complicated to try to make, whereas this is just basically, you suspend it in the air. Even if you are trying to just stick it to the wall, if you find that the, ta the tape isn't working, if you're trying to tape it onto the wall with just like regular tape and stuff, um, then try some sort of a pole of any kind of whatever pole you happen to have. Maybe it's a plank of wood or maybe it's a whatever it happens to be and try sticking a couple of nails in the wall and then suspending the, the pole through some string and stuff. You could try that, you could try different things, but that's all there is to it. So hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys, giving you, sort of getting you thinking of some ideas you might be able to do to get a green screen because this is reasonable. Um, quality for only like two dollars for the actual screen and stuff and that's that's awesome if any of you guys happen to have ideas for how to get lighting that is better for like a very ch cheap amount of money or something like that then let me know if you guys have any ideas for that as well and hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video hopefully it gave you some ideas and stuff and see you guys later bye bye